A recent study about the possible link between cancer and hair straighteners has many on social media buzzing. And News 12's Asia McKenzie spoke with doctors at Montefiore to discuss that study and why those who use those relaxers should look out. Hair has always been a cultural talking point in the black community, and it took the national stage during the natural hair movement and produced the Crown Act to stop hair discrimination in the workplace and educational spaces. But are chemical straighteners making a comeback? Well, the hashtag relaxers are back may point to yes, as it has over 5.5 million views on TikTok. Okay, we're going to relax this hair today. We just show you off the box. Yes, we're doing it. But before you put the cream back on your hair, a new study from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences might give you pause, saying there may be a correlation to uterine cancer. In this study, they listed some of the common ingredients that have been linked to cancer, like parabens and formaldehyde-releasing chemicals. Um, and they also mentioned that sometimes when relaxers are applied, there might be heat damage or other type of injury to the scalp that could give those chemicals an easier time to penetrate through the skin. News 12 spoke with doctors at Montefiore to break down what is called the sister study. For almost 11 years, over 33,000 women in the U.S. between the ages of 35 to 74 participated. The study showed that women who reported frequent use of hair relaxers were more likely to get uterine cancer. During the course of this study, 378 of these women were diagnosed. And the reality is, is that they showed that using these relaxers, relaxers up to four times a year was associated with a doubling of the risk of endometrial cancer. So that's when we really start our, turning our heads and saying, hey, wait a minute, this is a dose response relationship that's going on here. This information can be pretty tough for those of us who have been getting relaxers since the time we were children. However, there are signs to look out for if you're concerned about uterine cancer. Any bleeding after menopause should trigger a call to the gynecologist. For, for younger women, what happens is they'll have periods in between their schedule. Both doctors say the study shows correlation between uterine cancer and not causation, but it's still important to stay in the know. Um, it definitely gives us a little signal that we should pay attention to this and probably use caution with relaxers. Aisha McKenzie, News 12.